Easy Trends. Easy Trends. We make integrated transport easy and cost effective for businesses and people. Nubareya Power Station. The Nubareya Power Plant lies to the west of the Nile Delta at 180 kilometers from the city of Alexandria, where the Egyptian government selected this site to establish a giant power plant with a capacity of 1,500 megawatts. Due to its previous experience and to its ability to provide transport for such types of projects, EasyTrans was appointed to handle the incoming cargoes for this project, from the arrival of the carrying vessels at El de Gela port, which lies to the west of the city of Alexandria, up to the project site, including customs clearance and storage, whether in the port or at the site. The importance of this job lies in the size and value of the imported pieces, which include four gas turbines weighing 305 tonnes each and four generators weighing 300 tonnes each. EasyTrans prepared for this project, a major logistical task, as follows. In the area of technical route surveys, studies of the various roads were made, the obstacles in each were inspected and the best route, which is 260 kilometres long from El de Gela port to the site, was selected. EasyTrans also calculated, in cooperation with a civil engineering consultancy firm, the bearing capacity of the roads and bridges on the selected routes. This firm created a report on the required repairs along the route, as well as handling the supervision of the implementation of these repairs. The route was divided into three main areas, and the required modifications in each were assigned to a special civil engineering company. These repairs can be summarised as follows. Building and testing a paved road as a bypass around the international coastal road that passes through the city of Alexandria. Paving a one kilometre road before and after a waterway on the limits of the city of Alexandria. Performing the necessary testing and maintenance on the metal bridge over this waterway. Building alternative paths to avoid crossing over weak bridges with the necessary paving and widening of the roads along these paths. Paving and in some places widening an 8 km road within the Nubareya area leading up to the project site. Removing one of the concrete victory arches in the Nubareya area. raising the high-tension power cables along the route. The required modifications and repairs were completed successfully and EGTrans was able to obtain the necessary official approvals to transport the heavy pieces. To transport these pieces, EGTrans used an hydraulic trailer consisting of 16 axles each axle consisting of three files with a total number of 192 tyres and capable of carrying pieces up to 700 tonnes each. EasyTrans assembled the equipment, performed the necessary tests to confirm that they are in good working condition and obtained the necessary efficiency certifications from a qualified surveyor.
technical department also produced the engineering technical transport drawings for the heavy pieces, how they should be loaded in place and how to be lashed on the trailer. It is also worth mentioning that all of the supporting auxiliaries, whether to be used in storage or transport, was covered by efficiency certifications from the qualified surveyor. The first shipment arrived on the 27th of October 2004 on a vessel carrying two generators, followed by another on the 9th of November 2004 carrying one turbine. On the arrival of the first shipment, the hydraulic trailer was ready and waiting inside De Gela port for the vessel to berth. The discharging operation of the first generator to the hydraulic trailer was completed using ship's gear. And after being properly lashed and secured, the generator was transported to a storage area inside the port rented by EasyTrans specially for this purpose. and on specially designed and manufactured blocks and beams it was seated using the hydraulic jacking up, jacking down technique of the trailer's system. The same procedure was followed for the second generator where both were stored waiting to complete the delivery of the first turbine to the site at Nubareya. The handling procedure of the turbine was different as it had to be transported directly from the port to the site. Upon the arrival of the second vessel carrying the first turbine, the hydraulic trailer received it on its bed where it was properly secured to leave the port straight to Nubareya. Using the route chosen and reclaimed, and accompanied by the police escort together with the team from our sister company ETEL, the hydraulic trailer took five days to complete the journey of the 260 kilometres to reach the site. All the manoeuvres made along the route were successfully done, and the following sites were recorded. While passing around the coastal road. Crossing the metallic bridge over the waterway. Passing through the desert road. Proceeding in Nubareya area through the reclaimed and paved roads. Entering the site directly to the turbine house to stand below the lift and lock system. The turbine while being installed on its foundation using the lift and lock system. And releasing the hydraulic trailer to return back to the Dehela port to pick up the first generator. The above operations were repeated seven times to deliver four turbines and four generators from the port to the site and were completed successfully by the end of February 2005. Easy Trans. 
we make integrated transport easy and cost-effective for businesses and people.